Hello, uh, welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. This is Jay Rodman, and I'm continuing my exploration of the workshop where the dying Ferrofist sent us. He said, get the keys, go through my workshop, and put an end to that thing that I created by working with the Dark One, or something like that. Um, I'm gonna... I've, I spent, like, um... I'm going to start talking about things that are not directly relevant to uh, my play right now, while continuing to play. Um, I spent so much time uh, in editing the last session, mostly removing breath noise and lip noise. Oh my goodness, I probably spent two and a half hours editing it. So, um, I've tried moving the microphone, so maybe it won't happen so much, because that is just so tedious. Um, I think there were some earlier episodes where I just let it be kind of crappy. I think I didn't listen all that carefully to realize how present, how strong that sound was. Um, sorry for that. Okay, uh... So, I guess... I'm... My new strategy... I don't know if strategy is the right term. But I have this desire to figure out if there's a spinner in the middle of the spinners. Uh, so I think I'm going to take off the no spin ring to find out okay these seem worth fighting I guess ah oh, I pressed the terminal s but too soon luckily no one was hit by those scary sounding death blades so I just feel it I, I, I uh finished off a mage Mage Masher, or something like that. I'm convinced it's just another one of those. Um, if I hit you, I'll take away spell points. But I don't know that for sure. Warbots, I think, are new. So they get a a, 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 a wither fist in their faces. Mm, and, uh, I don't know, I can't remember what short range attack. So, Night Lance it is. It seems to be doing like 30 to 40 damage per hit. That is not that threatening. Oh, there's 60 damage. It's more threatening. So I, I've been watching some of the um, playbacks. And it's a little perplexing. Um, the scrolling of the text is really jittery in the recordings. Like, and I don't mean that it jumps. I mean that it jumps unevenly. Like it, it doesn't. Like the bottom part moves before the top part. I find it very strange because. I don't know, like, does, does Camtasia only capture part of the screen at a time? I mean, how, how is that, how is that a thing?
I may have to start capturing at a higher frame rate, I guess. I was trying to keep the um, size of the uploads under control so that I could actually publish them in a reasonable amount of time. Funny, this game like has um, an incons. It's not. You know what the issue probably is. Some of the dungeon levels are probably designed by different people because um, Bart's Tale One was entirely kind of hand hacked in hex numbers by uh, Cranford. Um, in Bart's Tale Two, he made an editor, but he still kind of made all the levels himself. And I think for Bard's Tale 3, there was like a team working on it, and probably not a single person making the levels, because there are some levels where like awkward corners like this just can't be reached at all, or like sometimes it's like there are walls around them, and if you phase door in, you can get in, and it's like, what is this weird space for? Um, whereas in other levels, I'm thinking about my attacks at the moment. So hold on one second. I should attack uh, the magic siphons. Okay, so whereas in other levels, they went to all the trouble to doing things like making the walls around the corners be no phase door access, although sometimes you can teleport in, sometimes you can't teleport in, and then sometimes they did things like this where they're just funny little extra bits like attached to like you know like it would clearly kind of be more sort of consistent in a way if these were not accessible but i don't know it's not important it's just sort of it feels like there isn't one creative mind going on here or uh producing these and that's probably because there wasn't Do I need another Fatal Fist? I feel like that's overkill. Oh, I've been phased! Reducing my spell points that I don't have. When I play Japanese RPGs, I pretty much never choose the memory setting, the thing where it starts back, um, the cursor where you already were, but I am sure wishing I had it here. This is the last cubby hole right here. So now we just have the center areas to explore. Although wait, there's no there's no wall here. I'm just wrong. I must have misjudged when looking from the other side. Okay, fine. Wondering 
Oop. There it is. And now I will come up to this middle piece here. Or I don't know if it's in the middle, but whatever. It's between the two walls. That's what I meant. So... I've gone up here. Next, explore this little box. Okay, now we need to go one more into the center. Huh. I expected something to happen here, but anyway, while we're here, we can find whoever has the no spin ring and take it off. I thought it was one of my mages. One of these fine ladies. Um, power ring. No spin ring. Unequip. Okay, so if I turn here, indeed, there is no spinner. I will save my game. I meant to say search, so I kind of thoughtlessly pressed S, thinking S for search. Character disk. And now, dungeon disk. Oh, it's here, here? That is, that is weird. Am I in the right, am I where I think I am? Yeah, there's this whole circle of spinners, and there's an empty spot, but here is where the portal is. Okay. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to go here and put a note down, or... Really more of a label down. Portal! Okay! Uh, and Grisnock has the keys. And where are my notes? Okay, so... They could, of course, you know, while I was looking at this afterwards, they could say... Um... What did I overwrite? Something... Tyne are the months of six summers? Anyway, um, they meant the number of months of six summers. Of course, you could say six summers is... Okay, so let me, let me explain my nonsense reasoning here. You could have... Let's say it's two summers. So you have June, July, August. And then... June, July, August. So that would make... And then in the middle we have... Um, September, October, November, December, uh, January, February, March, April, May. Until we get to mm, next line, June. The next year is June, July, August. So you could say sort of these two summers don't claim six months, but rather also claim one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not is nine. Have I done something wrong? Oh no, no, the rest of the year, of course, the whole the whole cycle of the rest of the year. So you could say they claim a year plus three, and so the total would not be six, but rather. Um, uh, 15. So, if you were thinking this way, the number of times, months that belong to the six summers would be 5 times 12 plus 3. Or... 63. 
But turning a key 63 times is ridiculous, and I hope that my thoughts on this are ridiculous, and that, in fact, it's 18. So, let's just start with that. So I will use the right key 18 times. And then I will use the left key 15 times. The locks pop off the door, sealing the passageway. Okay, so I'm going to guess that when I did this last time, I thought my, my, my thing of the thumb is not generally considered to be a finger was my quote-unquote mistake. But anyway, um, the relatively most obvious version, I guess, worked. So maybe I was being a pedant last time. Where are we? A fresh breeze comes from the open portal above. big place. It's called Ermex Para. Ermex Paratroopers? Ermex Parasol. I wonder if there's a way to find out what that text is supposed to be. Anyway, this is definitely um, material for the next session, so I'm going to sign off for the moment. See you all next time.